what up simps and young blood stands god i hate myself how many special people change how many lives are living strange while we here while we would get high hi guys and welcome back to my channel i know i've been gone I keep saying that I really shouldn't do that, but like, I posted a lot of videos the previous week, so I thought I could take a week off last week just to start preparing for the MCAT, which I will be documenting on this channel, but no one cares obviously right now. So, today's video is to mark the two year anniversary of 21st Century Liability, and if you don't know, 21st Century Liability was Youngblood's first album. And I thought I'd make it a tradition since last year I made a video on this day exactly that I keep doing them every year and with every album so we could just see how far Dom's coming a year. So as you can tell, I am mentally prepared to talk about how great Dom's year has been. So let's get into it. Obviously, first up, during the last year, he announced his tour that happened in the fall which corresponded with this beautiful EP, Underrated Youth Deluxe EP, plus the comic book that is in here, which I'm going to show both, show you guys. So, obviously I haven't opened this because it's a CD and I'm waiting to put it in my car, but obviously this is the wondrous little EP that came out with all these bops like Brain Dead, Parents, Original Me, Casual Sabotage, Hopefully the Underrated Youth, and personally one of my faves, Waiting on the Weekend. So this was one of the biggest things that happened this past year and honestly I'm I'm just so proud of this for him. I This is definitely one of my favorite EPs that he has and he only really has two so yeah so this is a big part of that year. Obviously this came out next, I believe, was obviously his original comic, which th there's a sequel that's going to be out by December, I believe. Um, this was just a work of art. I love seeing Dom's brain just be so creative. So honestly, this was one of my favorite things to read. I got one of the ones that says Young Blued. So I'll show you. Yeah. Um, but no, this was obviously it was very something close to my heart and I don't open this box usually. <laughs> So I can keep this in pretty pristine condition. So yeah, if I can get it back in the box, it'd be even better. <laughs> oh, I'm bending it. Oh god. So I'm not a good parent actually. So I'm gonna put these away because these were actually like two of the biggest things Bob's done. So I'm really proud again for him. Obviously, let's keep going. Obviously, he did this tour right here. Some wonderful pictures I took on his stop to Boston. Love these, please. Took a lot of time and effort. I love them so much. And that night was so magical, getting to obviously see Dom be in pit, meet some amazing people, and cry my eyes out a lot. Oh, and also have Tom bump into me like five times. That was funny. Also, that man smells like Gucci perfume and like, whatever he wears as his like cologne or whatever, Tom, tell me, cause I wanna know. Cause you smell really good and I really wanna smell like that. Next up we have um, the Rock Sound, yes, Rock Sound Awards, which I believe this came out in Jan- oh, this is, well this is January 2020. It's it sold, I think, out in December. So it came with this really cool poster of Dom, obviously. I think you guys have seen this on my TikTok. If not, hit me up on TikTok. And obviously, Dom's on the cover. Well, one, because I bought the Dom cover one and he's on page. If I can get there, my child that is water parks nope still not him okay there he is <laughs> so um this was actually a birthday gift to myself <laughs> a lot of these were gifts this is a gift for my friend because she knows how much i love her. um this was a gift to myself because honestly this is such a cool thing to have it's limited edition yeah it's just I treasure this so much. It's coming up in my apartment next year, so, well, this upcoming year, so I'm very excited about this, and I've read it multiple times, but it also sits covetly in my makeup area because I love it so much. 
obviously, if we're going in chronological order, right? I said that right, chronological order. We have to uh, step it up with uh, Weird. So yeah, I got this shirt. <laughs> Which everybody's been shitting on these shirts on like Twitter and stuff. But um, yeah, I got one better in black. I'm obviously gonna crop it because it's just like a it's like a Gildan shirt, isn't it? Yeah, they're made in different places, which is why I think everybody's complaining about that and the quality is different on each one. This one was made in Nicaragua. So that's cool. I'm cropping this and done some stuff to it so it looks a little better. <laughs> I actually have some surprises. This here that a bunch of the Youngblood fam and I are doing to maybe fix merch would be great. So yeah those were some cool things that have happened this year. Honestly Dom's done so much from releasing his first EP after his album to Getting like, I think he got on the top 100 charts with original me to, oh my god, he's done so much. To his live shows, to awards, to the rock sound cover, to releasing Weird and his quarantine series, and now tomorrow, hopefully something really cool, the strawberry lipstick thing, I'll put that up in the corner. I'm really proud of him, and to also end this 21st century liability era. Thought I'd show you guys the merch I've had from it. Obviously you saw the first two, plus the shirt. So we're just gonna do a loop back in time. We have the coveted hat that I received when my order was wrong. <laughs> but I love that, it's the beanie. The loner shirt. The original 21st century liability shirt that I bought off his website. And probably a stain on it, so I'm really sorry. So that one, doing this in the corner. Um, the limited edition Youngblood and Halsey 11 minutes plus Travis Barker. Is he even listed on here? No, he isn't. Well, that sucks. Um, the sweatshirt, which has a stain on the front, and we're not going to talk about it. Um, and lastly, all that I can find right now is this tour sweatshirt from the Hopefully Underrated Youth Tour, which has all the dates on the back, and is one of my most loved sweatshirts because I wear this constantly. <laughs> And we'll wear it for days on end. So yeah. So your favorite dumbass is editing right now. And realizes she has two other young blood merch items that she forgot to include in include in her, include in her video. Because they're in her drawer. So um I have more than that. And I just wanted you to know that I'm so sorry that they didn't get to be shown. It's um there are two young blood shirts, one's from tour. This year, I'm watching tour of the year before, so yeah. Also, please enjoy the Sunday. It is candy. That's literally all I have to just kind of commemorate today, and I think I kind of want to end it off on like a little story that I think I've told last year, but I don't believe so. Um, this album changed my life, made me love Dom. I discovered Dom through this album. Obviously, it means a lot to me, it means a lot to the Youngblood community, the fans, etc. I think also to Dom as well. So I'm very thankful for this album and how much it has helped Dom grow and the community grow and I can't wait to see where this takes us next and uh happy second year. <laughs> second year 21st century liability and yeah I'll see you guys in a year with an update to this video hopefully.